Want to close more deals? You need to tell stories. Stories are an important factor to getting a deal done. But most people don't know which stories to tell. We're going to talk about the three most important stories you need to be telling in your sales process. Let's do it. Hey, I'm Matt Wallach. I'm here in France. I'm here for the summer with my family, taking some time and also working and just having a fun time. But I wanted to tell you something that's really, really important in sales. You got to make sure you tell stories, but the important stories are the three that we're going to talk about today. Now, before we do all that, make sure you're subscribed. Hit the subscribe button down there. That's going to make sure you get all of the best tips, tricks, content, all the valuable information you need so you can close more deals. Also, like this video. If you can do that, that'll show me this is something that's important for you, something that's helping you so I can structure the content to what you need. Now, let's talk about those three stories. In sales, it's really important to tell stories. The more you can do that, the more likely it is you're going to be able to close deals. But any story won't work. It's got to be the right kind of stories. And Forrester did some research on this. They said that there are three top stories, three most important stories that your buyer needs to hear, that they want to hear, and if they don't know it, subconsciously, they've got a feeling that they've got to have these stories in order for them to buy from you. But what are those? Okay, number one, you need to tell your company founding history. Sometimes to buyers, a company is a brand. It's some big amorphous conglomerate, something. They don't really know what it is, and it's really hard for a person to connect to that brand. But what you can do is tell a founding history. Even if your company's big, even if it's been around for a while, oftentimes that founding history can get the buyer to connect on a personal level to the company. Now that's really important to tell the founding history more than just, hey, we're this big, we've got these logos in, as part of our customer base, we've got this many customers. They don't wanna hear that. They wanna hear more about how it came to be because oftentimes, why the company was started and how it came to be might relate and might be more relevant to this person in the situation they're in now. That might connect them to the company and talking about the founder or the founders might make them realize, hey, this is real people behind this, people who had a struggle, people who saw a need, people who solved that need. So number one, tell a company founding history. Okay, number two, talk about yourself what I call your personal why. Talk about why you are here in this situation doing what you're doing. So if you're a salesperson, in your sales calls, give your personal why. A quick 20 seconds, all about you, a little bit about something personal, maybe a few professional things that show that you know what you're talking about and why you care about helping people in this situation. So many times people jump on the sales calls and they just immediately go into their pitch. But that person hasn't had a chance to connect with you. They don't know you. They don't get you. They don't know about your background. They don't trust you. Give your personal why. Quick 20 seconds on you so they can feel like they can trust you. They can connect with you. It's going to make your deals a lot better. There's two of them. Now, if you like this so far, hit the like button down there. Make sure you show that. And also, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put those down there. That's going to help me get you the information you need. Okay, we're down with two. Number three. The most important stories your buyer needs to hear, and this one might be the most important of all, that is customer success stories. Customer success stories, talking about things that your customers did in your system, in your tool that made them successful. Now, this is really, really important to be able to tell these success stories, but more important, make sure they're relevant. If you're talking to somebody who's a smaller company, maybe five people in the company, don't talk to them about how you sold Coca-Cola and they were able to achieve amazing success. Or if you're talking to a giant Fortune 500, don't talk about some two-person company where you helped them out and they did great stuff. It's got to be relevant. Make sure that the industry is there. Make sure that it's got all the same kind of connections. Make sure the same pains that they're going through. If you can connect and associate this person's story to your prospect, it's going to make it really, really powerful for them. And they're going to see, hey, I am having similar, similar challenges. If I go through and use this tool or this solution, then I'm going to achieve similar results to the company or the people in this story. So there you have it. We've got the three most powerful stories, most important stories we should be telling in the sales process. Number one, your company founding history. Number two, your personal why. And number three, a relevant customer success story. 
I hope this helps. Make sure you are subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell as well so you're notified every time I come out with a new video. And if you like it, hit the like. That's gonna make sure that you get all of the best videos and content delivered to you. This is Matt, thank you so much. Take care, see you next time.